I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I made my very own DIY flaxseed hair gel. <gasps> you guys, you're gonna love it. Believe it or not, the only thing that I have in my hair right now is this gel. Now I got today's recipe from Natural85. You guys have to follow her channel if you don't already, especially if you have type four hair. She has amazing natural hair videos that I know you guys are gonna love. And she made a foolproof video on how to make this flaxseed gel. So I'll also put her video down below. So I tried her method and I'm happy to say that just like she promised, it came out perfect on the first try. The best thing about this DIY flaxseed gel, besides the fact that it works amazing, is that it's so easy to make. You literally only need a bag of flax seeds. I got this at Ralph's, it was about four or five dollars, and you wanna just get the normal whole flax seed, not like ground, not roasted, not with any other flavors, just the straight up normal flax seeds. And once you have your seeds, you just literally boil it in water, and that's basically it. It's so easy. Alrighty, let's get started. So first we're gonna get a small pan and add about two and a half cups of water or 600 milliliters of water. And then we're gonna grab our flax seed and we're gonna use about one fourth cup. Pour that in there, like, oh, like so. And now we're gonna turn the stove on medium heat and then just let that sizzle. starts to bubble up like this lift it and look for almost like a snot like consistency from the videos that I've seen so this is still way too watery so we're gonna keep on letting it boil bubble bubble toilet trouble so now after about 15 minutes you'll see that it is a little bit thicker now so what we're looking for is that drip right there that's gonna let us know that it's ready. Once your gel looks just about right, we're gonna let it sit on the stove for about 40 minutes to an hour, just so that it can cool down before we extract all the gel. Now at this point, it is good to use a nylon or a pantyhose. In everyone else's videos on YouTube, everyone said it was so easy to find pantyhose for like 50 cents. I don't know where they went. I went to like five different stores, could not find any pantyhose, and when I did, it was like five, six dollars, and I didn't wanna buy six dollar tights to cut it up and then just use it as a strainer for my seeds. So I put on my thinking cap and actually went to Marshalls, you can go to any shoe store, and I just took those little like nylon socks, those little temporary socks that you put on when you try shoes, and that worked just fine. I mean, it's not stealing, it's free. If you wanna try on some shoes to make you feel better before you throw it away, go ahead. And these little socks were free 99, my favorite press. So you're gonna grab your nylon, whatever you decide to use, you're gonna put it over your measuring cup and then pour all of the gel inside. Once you put all of your concoction inside the nylon, you're then going to squeeze out all of the gel. Yes, this does look really gross and uh, slimy, but hey, do you want beautiful curls or not? The best part about this method is that we actually waited for all the gel to cool down. That way we're not burning our hands trying to remove the gel right off the stove. And once you're all finished, this is exactly how your flaxseed gel will look. Now at this point it's good to get some type of container. I got this one for 99 cents at Target. Uh, it was a little bit small, so as you can see I was kind of struggling to get it all in there. So try to find a bottle with a larger opening if you can. But then we're just gonna seal it and voila! Our very own DIY hair gel. Alrighty, I now have my homemade flaxseed gel that has been sitting in my fridge. Luckily no one has used it as a sauce. And now I'm gonna apply the gel to my hair. So my hair is currently damp, fresh out the shower. And I am gonna apply this in at least two sections. Let's see how this gel turned out. Ooh, it's very cold. There it is. A jiggly, jelly texture. And I feel like that's the look we actually want. This kind of like gross, snot looking stuff. 
So we're gonna put in our hair. Talk about natural ingredients, no sulfates, parabens, or silicone in this stuff. Get some more for the other side. A Little bit on top, in the back, and underneath. Then you just rake and scrunch, just like I do with any gel or hair product. I'm excited. All right, I think that's good. And I do like how it doesn't leave my hands feeling sticky at all. Like it just feels all natural. So now I'm gonna let this air dry for a couple hours and we'll see how well it dries. All right, I'm back. My hair is now completely dry. Look at my curls. This stuff actually works really, really well. I gotta zoom in, let me get closer. Look how shiny and defined they are. From a DIY? What? Bouncy, soft, it has just the right amount of hold to where it's not like hard crunchy, but still enough hold to where I feel like it's gonna look good even on like day two and day three. Look at this. In Insane. DIY gel? Better than, let me not name any names. Now that you see how perfectly defined the curls dry, I'm now going to style it with my pick. Wow. I don't even know how I wanna style it today. My bangs the side, middle part, whatever. At least it's not flat. Okay, can we just talk about this for a second? My hair is so soft, so defined, it's shiny. It didn't give it too much shrinkage. It also didn't weigh it down. It's still very lightweight. I'm getting the volume that I want on day one. Dang, DIY is about to put people out of business. I'm going to continue to leave my flaxseed gel in the fridge just so it will last longer. I believe it's supposed to last at least a couple weeks before you have to make another one. I'm not exactly sure how you know when it's really gone bad because this is my first time using it. But if you have made flaxseed gel, please leave us a comment below and let us know how long you can keep your bottle of DIY gel before you have to make a new batch. I know I'm definitely gonna be using this gel again probably all week just because I'm curious to see how I can refresh with it. So if you wanna see that, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can see how well this gel works throughout the week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're planning on making your own, leave me a comment and let me know how your results were and how well it worked for your hair. I post two new videos every week. I post foundation reviews on Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.